everyone welcome back to omni studio flex card sessions um in this session we'll see how we can use rest data source in flex cards in the previous session we already learned about how we can use apex remote and apex rest and other data source types which are available in flex cards to use all right so before we dive into the example let's just go ahead and quickly understand what it is so rest data source you would be using in your flex card when you want to call any external rest api directly onto your flex card in order to fetch some data so basically you're not writing any code here uh unlike uh like you know what we saw in uh, apex rest right or even in apex remote so you would have to create an apex class and then like you know apex method and do the required configuration and then manipulation of data and that is when you are able to display the data onto flex card but in this particular data source you can directly call an external rest api to fetch the data and display onto the flex card all right so let's just go ahead and create a flex card but before i do that uh, i'm going to use this particular website open weather map org and here i have already created like you know my api keys and if you want to use this one you can use this one as well or i'm sure there are other websites available as well so here first of all let's just go ahead and add this into remote site settings right because we need to whitelist it otherwise we'll not be able to access it so i'll go to remote site settings and um, let's just create a new one and i'll call it as open weather map or anything right whatever you want to name it and provide the url so and hit on save so i have authenticated this all right and after this um all right so i'll i'll show you like you know what and all i want to access basically but let's just first go ahead and create the flex card so i'll name it as a uh, rest demo flex card and uh, let's just move ahead and select rest as data source i'll click on next so here rest type would be web uh method is going to be get right because we'll just and here it is asking for the endpoint so uh this particular website it will provide you like you know different ips in order to uh, kind of like you know access the weather data so here um let's just go to current and forecast apis and i'll go to api doc under api doc i want to search by city name so so this one right built in api request by city name this is how you can search onto this website and this is the endpoint that you have to hit so let's just copy this first go back here and paste it so first of all here i need to type city name so for example let's just see london and here i need to provide the api app id sorry so here uh one of the ids that i have active is this you can create your own it will generate it for you and this is the app id uh once i have that i'll just click on next and let's see if it results hmm unauthorized endpoint remote site settings okay this is the actually this is i think there is this home thing over there right uh, one second let me try again now yes you see uh we got the data back right the endpoint was not uh exactly correct in remote site settings that is why it gave me an error that it is not authenticated correct but now if you see as per the city name whatever i have provided it's giving me all the uh, available data that it that they have onto their website all right and like basically the current weather conditions right so these are the things that are available and now let's say if you want to display some of these in your flex card um so they have given under weather they have the i think this is the uh, description of like you know what is the weather like and main under main they have the temperature so so for example if you want to reach to so let's just first see let me just save it and let's just go ahead and include some component and see what are the binding fields that are available um so here i'll just include text and here so field binding yes we have it right time zone id name what the name the city name right so here i'll just give it as city name 
the label all right and then let's just take another field so build i'll take the temperature here so but for the temperature let's just first have a look at it again so temperature is under main right so it should be main dot temp and if we want the description it should be under weather right so main dot temp so here let me give the label first as temperature yes and here uh, what temp all right so this is not in um celsius or fahrenheit i think this is in kelvin but this is the temperature that it's returning right the website is returning back okay and let's just include one more and uh, display the weather description so here Just give it a label as description and here um, it was under weather tag right weather node so dot description okay i think this there were like multiple entries or something so let's just put it as yeah right so see this is how you can access like you know all the values that you're receiving in uh, your json file and uh, this is very like you know straightforward so all we did we just whitelisted the website the external um, uh, like you know system like you know the, the source the website we whitelisted that and we created a flex card under flex card if you see the setup uh, in the data source type we selected rest rest type was web method is get and the endpoint this is something that you will get from here right current weather map and you just go to built-in API. So in order to navigate, like, you know, to reach here, if you're like, you know, if you're just lost in the page, just go down here and just click on current and forecast APIs. And once you're on current and forecast APIs, you will be here, current weather data. This is what you want. And I don't have, so these, uh, you'll be able to access, like, you know, you'll get the API keys for these if you have, like, you know, if you have paid for it, like, you know, you should be uh, signing up for those membership. But I just wanted to have like a free data available. So this is what they given free. So if you click on API doc here, just search by city or like, you know, if there's any other parameter you want to pass, then you can search like, you know, for the other API calls as well. But this was the one that I used. So I just copied it and pasted it over there. I entered a city name and in the API key, once you sign up, right. And once you generate the API key, they'll take few hours and then like, you know, your API key will be activated to use. All right, so you just need to sign up for this website and then you'll be able to use it. So, so two steps, right? We just whitelisted and then we created a flex card. We defined everything as we needed and then we gave the endpoint. And after that, save and fetch and you'll get the JSON. And when you are accessing all these values that you're getting back from the JSON onto your flex card, right? You have to, like the way JSON is structured, that is how you have to access, right? For example, city name, it was like a, uh, like directly, right? I could access, but for description, you have to go under like, you know, weather and then description for temperature, mean, dot temp. So that sort of like, you know, understanding if you have about the JSON, then it will be like, you know, really easy for you to kind of like, you know, display the data onto your flex card. All right. So this was a very simple example of REST data source type um, using in flex cards. And I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.